Hey guys, so we made it to the Picks and Giggles uh, sale and um, it's the mom to mom sale and look, I brought Zoe. Um, basically Maisie won uh, the voting but I kind of decided to go with whoever came in second which was Zoe just because Maisie's been on a lot of outings since I got her and Zoe hasn't been out in a really long time so Zoe was a very close second um, I think Maisie won by like two points so I was like I think I'm gonna do Zoe she's nice and small easy to carry around so I have her in the carrier and so yeah we're gonna head inside
Okay, so we're out and I basically couldn't film anything with audio in there to get reactions because the music they were playing was so loud and I would have been copyrighted. So we did get a couple of people asking how old Zoe was and then we filled them in on that she wasn't real and they were amazed. Um, but that was about all with the reactions. It was just very loud in there with the music. So um, I'm gonna have to cut all audio from that section, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, just a couple of reactions that we got. Because um, people were saying, oh my gosh, how old is she? She's so tiny. So um, then we just kind of like told them she was a doll and they were really amazed. My first Hanukkah, that's so cute. I've actually been like on, I've been keeping my eye open for them for you. Cause I like, think I know. I know, yeah. and I—I I, this it's true. There's just not a market. Yeah. Someone had done it, and I—I I had this is called. This cart, so wow. I know, but they don't have them at Carter's. You know, it's it's. It's like, weird. I don't know, it's weird that they distribute Carter stuff to different. Throughout. But then you don't see like because yeah. I've never you and I've never seen it at Carter's. Right? No. no. But you know what? I did notice that Carter's, like the actual Carter store this year, even brought Thanksgiving stuff and more Halloween stuff than usual. So oh, I'm wondering okay. if they're finally starting to bring that kind of stuff here. Yeah. Um, I, I knew what you're, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, I know what you're gonna get. Yep. <laughs> oh, how cute. And then the bib. Oh, oh very yes. cute. And. Oh, that's adorable. Yes. You that's light Greece. up my life. That's <laughs> really cute. Really cute. Yeah, yeah I have to get this yeah. just because. So. This is what they have for the very first Christmas, but it's just oh, got yeah. off on the back. It's not really. So we are at Bye Bye Baby with Marilyn, <laughs> Paula, me, and Zoe. There's Miss Zoe in there. I hope you guys can see her. <laughs> and we got the GoPro hooked up to my carrier to try and get some reactions, maybe. Maybe, maybe. are Carter's and then some off-brand kind of ones and Oshkosh. Cute. Oh, we have some new Jessica Simpson stuff. Oh, wow. This one's really nice. Purple and it says flower child and it has these floral pants. Those are cute. Boho babe. And we've got, what are these, sleepers? Look at the little tassels on the feet. Purple tassels and then floral print. Then to try and get them back in there. Um, Oh my gosh, there's so many. I love the Jessica Simpson stuff, I really do. But they're not on 
sale. So I only want to pay full price because they are pricey. So we kind of did like a makeshift infant insert on this carrier. I don't know how well you're gonna see it, but there's like a little receiving blanket under Zoe's butt to try and raise her up a little bit. Oh, look at this. This is baby starters. It's like a little tutu thing. Oh, look at this one. It has a little fox. And there's flowers on the tail with the little headband. Oh my god, there's so many hair bands and hair clips. Onesies. Lots of sleepers. These are Carter's sleepers. I think these are Aiden and Aeneas muslin onesies. There's Bert's Bees. Some nice rompers and outfits. What brand? Oh, this is Bert's Bees. Wow. This is size newborn. A nice purple top with purple floral pants. I'm not sure I like how that top looks though. With that kind of side look. And we've got some more Carter's sleepers. And those are cute with the owls and the flowers. And I love these like thick fleecy ones for the winter. Got some Burt's Bees rompers and sleepers. <sighs> I'm warm. It kind of warmed up today. It was chilly this morning, but it warmed up. Oh, look at all the shoes. They all have like these huge security tags. Right in the middle, you can barely see what the shoes look like. But the shoes are like $47. No way I'm paying that. Wubbinubs. Wubbinubs. I like the moose one. I like the little ducky. The moose would be cute for Christmas. Moose. They have a lot of giraffes. A lot of the giraffe and yeah. well, the lamb is cute. Did you say the well, lamb? The lamb is cute. Yeah, oh, I like a wubba nub net lamb. Yeah. Wubba nub lamb. Oh, they have the fox. I really love the fox. That's the one I got. Yeah. I'm actually surprised. You know what? Their price actually isn't. I mean, it's still expensive, but I've seen them more expensive. Yeah. In other places. Mm -hmm. I do. I really would like the moose and the fox. I have two monkeys already. The lamb is pretty cute too. Yeah. But I have some little lamb stuffed animals, so I'm not I'm not as eager to get the lamb, but definitely the fox and the... I think the, I'm going to get the lamb. So yeah. The lamb and the fox. There you go. Little me, yeah, I figured it was little me. Yeah. Wow, $40 though. I know. My goodness. Yeah, I'm not willing to spend that. Yeah. And uh, do you like the way that it feels on? Yeah, yeah, it's comfortable. Oh. Yeah. It's the um, up close. By it's Infantino. called up close by Infantino. Okay. Yeah, you can get them at Walmart. They're like thirty-five dollars. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 And like they fold up really compact. Yeah. And that and so and it's like very lightweight, so you don't sweat in them. And yeah, they're really good. Okay. <laughs> like t-shirt material. T-shirt material, yeah. Right. 
Yeah. yeah. No problem. <laughs> Shit's not real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have a thing over here. I wanted to show you this, and I thought, oh. this is really stupid. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Pacifier weaning system. What? You cut a little bit off every one. Why do you have separate ones? Why not just take do the one yourself. that she's got and cut off and pay $27 for it? Oh, yeah. I yeah. know. Well, because of the, yeah. You Just know. take the one that they use and slowly cut. I've heard of people doing yeah. that to wean them off. You don't yeah. need to buy ones already cut. cut. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and with the thing, we'll just put a piece of tape on there. It says one, two, three, four, five, whatever. Well, you don't even need to. Like, you just yeah. take the one and slowly cut it down over time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That's kind That's, of, to me, it's yeah. useless. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, with Margaret, we did the pacifier fairy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it worked. It worked. Good. Because it, it basically lets her decide when she wants to do it. And, yeah. But she has to know that once she decides, that's it. There's no going back. No changing her and, mind. And, um... So she got a doll, ho a little doll house in exchange for her At pacifiers, and yeah. that was it. Let's <laughs> put the hungry mm. caterpillar. Oh yeah, mm. got it in board books. Yeah, and then they have little mm. crinkly things. That's cute. You get a whole slew of hungry caterpillars mm -hmm. stuff here. Very this is the version I have. I have the board book, but it's like the big board book. Oh, yeah. And that. That's cute. It's a little big, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's one of those ones that goes. What's this one? Okay. So, I'm home now. And Zoe is in her little doll cradle stand. And I wanted to show you what she was wearing today because you guys can really see with her in the carrier. So she's wearing this little non-footed romper, pajama kind of thing from Pumpkin Patch. And it's light pink and it's got a heart made out of leaves and flowers. And in the middle it says so lovely with three little butterflies and I had to roll the sleeves because they were kind of long even though this is a preemie size it was still kind of big on her and I just put these cute little pink cushies socks and then she's got her handmade passy clip from Beth Beth made this for her she sent it at the same time that she sent her little barefoot sandals and so it's just like a crocheted kind of thing, but it has these beads in the middle that says, says Zoe's name. And then she's got her little pink uh, honey bug pacifier. But I um, just wanted to say we had a really good day. Um, the sale in terms of the secondhand items was not really what we were expecting because um, I got some of it on video for you guys and you can kind of see what we're talking about is that most of the booths they didn't have items hung up they just had them in bins and they were like a heap of stuff in bins and we just did not have the patience to leaf through all of that and a lot of the bins were on the floor so for us crouching down to look through all of that was nearly impossible and any items that we were kind of pulling out a lot of them were stained or had tons of pilling or they just looked really old and worn um so you know we found a i think i found one thing and it's some short for grace i'll show you in a haul video but 
Um, they looked brand new and they were only a dollar. Um, and they were from Carter's. But that's all I got in the secondhand clothing. Um, so, you know, we were kind of thinking about finding out about selling there the next time. But we're not so sure now because our stuff would probably be priced higher since most of our stuff is brand new. And so we're not sure how well it would do. Um, but we're still thinking about it. We're thinking maybe we might do better than most people because it looked like most of the secondhand booths weren't selling anything. Because I guess I would say most people probably had the same impression we did. Where it was like... Um, you know, people didn't want to go through everything because of the way it was presented. So for us, if we got a booth, we, um, Marilyn has clothing racks and we would be more organized and have, try to hang up as much as we can on the racks. And then we were thinking maybe a couple of tables would have things like onesies or sleepers folded up on the table for people to look through. Um, and, you know, maybe we would do better than most because we'd be more organized and have nicer items. But, I don't know, we're thinking about it. But we did really enjoy the actual uh, business vendors that were there because they had a lot of handmade items. Um, not just for babies and kids, but they had, you know, bath bombs and... Um, there was a Scentsy booth there that I would have shopped at, but I was trying to, like, not spend too much, so I didn't really shop there, but, you know, I love Scentsy stuff. Um, I have one of, I don't have their brand of an oil, scented oil burner, but you can use their stuff in the one that I have. Um, yeah, so we were just looking around at all those things. They had some baked goodies. They had some Halloween and fall and Christmas cookies that were homemade, sugar cookies. And so there was an assortment of things like that. And those are the things that we really enjoyed looking at. And that's where a lot of us shopped. So um, that's what we did with that. And then afterwards, we went and had lunch at Burger King. Then we headed over to Bye Bye Baby, looked around there for a little bit, and then on the way home, just stopped at Carter's because I had a couple of returns to do, and then headed home. And so it was a really nice day out. Um, Marilyn and Paula, they brought their babies, but they didn't bring them into the stores. Um, so it was just Zoe that came into the stores with us. And, um, unfortunately, you know, we did get quite a few reactions in the show itself, but they had a DJ there that was blasting the music. And so therefore I cannot keep any of the audio from that video. So you guys won't get to, I don't know if I even got any reactions on video, but if I did, I can't really play the audio for them because the music was so loud we could barely hear each other talking and so I know I would totally get copywritten because it was all popular like music but it was weird like this is supposed to be a mom to mom show and they were playing you know dance music and rap music and it was really bizarre <laughs> um and it was very very loud and you know, we had to, eventually we ended up leaving because Paula was starting to get a headache from it. And so that was kind of a downside of it too. Um, that didn't really, I don't know, I didn't really think that the music um, was the right kind of music to be playing. And it shouldn't have been that loud. Um, so I think I got, the only reaction I got on camera that you guys will be able to see was in Bye Bye Baby. Um... And that's about it. Um, but we got some reactions. Oh, we did go to Once Upon a Child because Paula wanted to look in there. So I did get some reactions to her while we were in there. But I didn't get them on video because I was busy um, at the checkout. And yeah, so 
but basically everyone was amazed they all thought she was real like so many people were going oh my gosh what a tiny little baby how old is she and I was like no she's not real and they were like what so that was fun um and yeah so I think I just want to end off today's video um with last week's theme that ended Saturday we didn't get a chance to take part in it um, it was milk break week and I don't have any clothing that has anything to do with milk on it but she Nicole had said if you didn't have an outfit you could also just do a feeding video with your baby so Zoe here is very hungry because she had a very long day so I'm gonna get her a little bottle ready and then I kind of thought it would be nice to just sort of like and the video with some soft music playing while she has her little bottle. So let's stay tuned for that. for watching this video guys I hope you enjoyed joining us today on our outing and seeing and spending some time with Zoe so sorry about that my computer chair is really creaky <laughs> um, anyways so I hope you enjoyed seeing our outing whatever I got of it on video stay tuned for a haul video from our day and yeah, Zoe here is ready for bed with her passy. I guess I'll probably change her out of this and put her in actual pajamas, but she's all fed and quite happy. She's had a very long day. She enjoyed seeing her aunties. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.